people of the internet, my name is Johnny, welcome back to some more FNAF news. In today's video, we've gotten an update on the Jeff's Pizza ARG website for Into the Pit. YouTube's has revealed even more upcoming withered plushies. Scott Cawthon is seemingly working on an update for FNAF World, that and so much more we're going to be talking about today. So if you're excited, scroll down, tickle that subscribe button, we're trying to get 100,000 subscribers and we're getting very close. So let's see if we can get that silver plaque before FNAF's 10th anniversary coming up in August. But to kick off this video, let's talk about that Walmart exclusive Tales from the Pizzaplex story. Because in case you didn't know, in a brand new combo book releasing on July 9th, featuring stories from Haps as well as Somnophobia, we're getting a brand new Tales story. And we just got a brand new updated cover for the combo book as well as its official release date. We really don't know anything about this new story besides it's never been published before. But for all you book fans and FNAF theorists out there, I'd mark July 9th on your calendar because you never know what this brand new story is going to have in store. Moving on now to some merchandise, Fat Mojo is going to be releasing a few new bundles to celebrate FNAF's 10th anniversary, with this first one being a Freddy Head Capsule bundle, and in this video we can see a bit of the Freddy Head Capsule itself. It looks like someone wasn't ready for Freddy to come to the party. <laughs> And as you can see, pushing down on Freddy's top hat, he'll give you some voice lines, even light up his eyes. And inside this bundle, you got three plush toys, two minifigures, a sticker sheet, a poster, as well as a card collection. The second bundle is the Fizzy Fast Station, and inside each bundle is three figures, as well as an exclusive figure, one random collection card, one base, as well as one random sticker from 20 different models. I personally think the Freddy bundle that lights up and makes noises is really, really cool and really everything else in the bundles looks fantastic so I'd love to know you can be picking up any of the bundles which one's your favorite and then in some super weird FNAF merch news Medicom Toys has acquired the FNAF license and they're going to be releasing a Freddy Fazbear bear brick figure in the Lions 48th series in July I really don't like the look of these guys even seeing my homeboy Freddy Fazbear in that lineup while it's cool these guys just look really off and I know I'm not the only person who thinks that it seems like a bunch of companies are getting the FNAF toy license recently, so whatever else Medicom Toys has planned, I can't wait to see, but I also can't say I'm interested. <laughs> Something I am interested in, however, is Hex. And they have revealed some fantastic art of Springtrap done by Snortles. It seems like this is going to be a t-shirt design for their upcoming Springtrap wave, which they did reveal is coming out this month. So this design, as well as the long-awaited Springtrap plushie, are finally releasing in July. And then Hex also revealed an upcoming t-shirt of Ennard from Sister Location, with this distressed design meant to represent and Ennard's attack on Michael. And this t-shirt will be released in a special launch with that Ennard plushie we saw concept art of not too, too long ago. And then speaking of plushies, recently we took a look at U2's brand new Withered plushies, more specifically Withered Chica. And while I wasn't the biggest fan of Chica, they did just reveal two brand new Withered plushies. Those being Withered Freddy as well as Withered Foxy. And honestly, these guys look pretty cute. I think Foxy's smirk is a little strange and Freddy could be a bit more withered. But other than that, I much, much prefer these plushies over Withered Chica. And hopefully pretty soon we can see Withered Bonnie and hopefully he looks good as well. We've been waiting so long for Withered plushies. We finally got it with Hex. U2's is throwing their hat into the ring. I'd love to know what are your thoughts on U2's Withered plushies so far. And lastly for merchandise, let's talk about Funko because their brand new Ruin and Mystery Minis have been releasing. You may have seen a few videos and posts showcasing the brand new merchandise from Funko and honestly it looks to be a 10 out of 10. And now it seems like the mystery minis are hitting store shelves in select Hot Topic locations where we can actually see the rarity ratios for all of the figures included in the wave. The first thing that really caught my attention was the four one out of sixes for the classic FNAF 1 characters. I know that is going to lead to a lot of duplicates of those guys, something I can't say I'm looking forward to at all. Withered Freddy and Bonnie are 1 out of 12s, Withered Fox and Chica are 1 out of 24s, Golden Freddy and Poppet are 1 out of 36s, and Cupcake and Endo are the rarest, both being 1 out of 72. So while I'm still super excited for this new wave of minis, Dude, four one out of sixes is absolutely brutal, Funko. I'd say expect a lot of duplicates with those FNAF 1 classics, which is really upsetting, especially because we're finally getting the Withereds. But it seems like this wave is just going to be filled with a lot of characters that already have minis, so 
quite upsetting. I'd love to know what are your thoughts on the ratios for these new minis. And now let's move on to Five Nights at Freddy's Into the Pit, a 10th anniversary game releasing on August 8th. And you may remember during a recent trailer, Mega Cat Studios, the developers released a Jeff's Pizza ARG website with that website set to launch on June 12th. Unfortunately, however, they experienced a lot of technical difficulties where they decided to ultimately delay the launch of the website until further notice. And recently on July 1st, we finally got an update to the website situation with Mega Cat Studios in their Discord reassuring fans that the website is still being worked on, saying that it's still happening and they just don't have any news on the new release date just yet. I'm extremely relieved to hear that the website is still being worked on. However, you do got to consider what are they going to show at this point? They've already shown a bunch of trailers and teasers. There's a Steam page as well as the official release date. So I'm not really sure what else they could tease for this title with the ARG website, but I'm still excited to see what it's going to have. And speaking of the FNAF 10th anniversary, fairly recently, Russell Binder, the president of Striker Entertainment, the license holder of FNAF, recently touched upon the 10th anniversary of the franchise, saying in an interview, we are looking forward to celebrating 10 years of FNAF this August, introducing new games and experiences over the next 12 to 18 months, expanding the international reach of the franchise and ramping up towards what we anticipate will be an incredible strong back half of 2025. This interview did release before we got the August slate of releases, like Five Laps at Freddy's, Into the Pit, the Steel Wool announcement, the game collaboration, all of the fanverse news. So already that checks off a few of the brand new games and experiences talked about in this answer. But the thing that really caught my attention was the 12 to 18 months part. It seems like they're not just celebrating the 10th anniversary of FNAF in August. It seems like this is going to be like a year long celebration. So it looks like we got a whole bunch of FNAF stuff releasing this August and presumably the rest of the year to celebrate 10 years of FNAF, but then even more stuff next year, more specifically, again, the back half of the year to go alongside the release of the second FNAF movie. So FNAF fans, we're going to be eating good for the next like year and a half at this point. So I'd love to know your thoughts on this statement. What else are you hoping to see from this 10 year celebration? And now let's talk about FNAF World, a sentence I never thought I'd say in the Lord's year of 2024. Recently, however, However, a lot of fans have noticed that the Steam version of FNAF World has been updated for the first time in several years, with Scott actually removing the free version of the game off Steam, which is the version of the game you used to be able to still download using an exploit in Steam's download console command. Don't worry though, if you already had the free version that doesn't remove the game off your account. But then fans also noticed that the paid version of FNAF World, which keep in mind has been delisted and removed from the platform for years now. that brand also got updated and is seemingly being worked on via a private build by Scott himself. So of course this has led a lot of fans to be confused what the heck is Scott doing finally touching FNAF World after he's hated it for so many years? The theories have ranged from Update 3 to FNAF World 2 to, I don't know, Scott just wanted to fix that exploit so people would stop downloading the game off Steam. I suppose it's possible it gets relisted on Steam because there is such a cult following behind the title after so many years. It seems like FNAF World has finally found its place in a lot of FNAF fans' heart, and I'd assume Scott maybe has seen that feedback. But again, keep in mind, as amazing as as it would be to have a brand new continuation of FNAF World or even get it relisted on Steam. Right now, there's just really not enough evidence to conclude what exactly is going on. Like I said earlier, it could just be Scott fixing an exploit to download the free version on Steam, which again, he did remove. And maybe in doing so, he accidentally messed something up with the page and the remnants of the paid version branches. But it is certainly an interesting situation. I'll be sure to update you all if something does come out of this. But for right now, I'd say absolutely keep your expectations low because it could just be Scott doing some summer cleanup. But that is going to do it for today's FNAF News video. I'd love to know what are your thoughts and everything we talked about today. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.